We did it. We've successfully cut through 30 millimeters of steel. And with that, we've confirmed the theory. And since so many of you asked for it, today we're going to push things further. We're putting our Forza Escaner 6000 watt laser to the absolute limit. Let's find out just how far it can go. What's the maximum thickness it can handle when cutting a 36 black steel? We're starting with a 19 millimeters cut, which is considered the standard maximum for high quality results. That means we should still get a really clean cut. Of course, using oxygen as the assist gas. It cut like butter. Yeah, it's still a little hot right here. Still hot. But as you can see, the cut is flawless. No burrs at all. This is the finish we got on the 19 millimeters plate. That's the max standard thickness. Here I made a shape. You can see it has a rounded corner and a sharp edge here. I made that corner to show where the heat concentrates the most. That's why in thicker cuts, designs tend to avoid sharp corners and go for round shapes to minimize heat buildup in the edges and vertices. So, looks great. So let's keep going. Before cutting, I need to load my parameters. Each material and thickness requires a different pressure, speed, and focus. All I do is select the material and thickness, and everything loads automatically. I don't have to worry about it. That's one of the advantages of using Forza Laser. All the settings are preloaded, and if we're missing a material, we can download the settings from our site. Library.ForzaLaser.com, completely free for customers. Let's go with 22 millimeters. This one actually turned out even better than the 19 millimeters cut. Look at that, it's even cleaner, especially down here along the lower edge. And I'm pretty sure that's because this piece had way less rust on it. If you take a closer look at the 19 millimeters plate, you'll notice it's much more oxidized than that rust makes it harder for the molten metal to flow out cleanly, which ends up leaving those tiny little marks behind this one with less oxidation is way cleaner. And over here, I also have a bit of heat buildup in the corner. It's probably the only spot that didn't come out perfect, but the rest of the piece came out exactly as designed. Of course, we can tweak the dimensions of the figure by applying a small compensation if need to get the exact size we want. Now let's keep going. Next up, one inch, Yeah, look, here we've got this whole section of the edge. Right in this part, I applied a special parameter adjustment to improve how the corners cut, and also to reduce the laser's power a bit so we could lower the heat buildup in those areas. Now, this edge you're seeing here, it's the entry point. It still has room for improvement, sure. But keep in mind, this was our very first try. Since the parameters were already preloaded, we basically nailed it on the first go. This right here is the maximum cutting thickness a 6,000 watt Forza laser can handle. And honestly, the finish looks amazing. No burrs at all, no extra processing needed, and exact dimensions. But from this point forward, things are going to get tricky. These next thicknesses aren't even standardized anymore, so we might take a bit longer. But let's dive in and see what happens. We just made the cut. Not with the best quality, 
but after several tries, you can see right here. One, two, three, four, five. On the sixth attempt, we finally got through. Honestly, the cut looks pretty rough, because now we're entering thickness territory that isn't really standardized for 6,000 watt laser machines like this one. Now, it's true that with 25 millimeters, we managed to get a very clean cut. But when jumping to 30 millimeters, the result isn't as consistent. Yes, we did manage to cut through 30 millimeters decently, but there's a high chance the material had already been affected by heat. See, when parts are pre-cut, using oxyfuel or plasma. Small pieces tend to heat up too much, and once they're cooled down, especially with water, you get a tempering effect. That process alters the molecular structure of the metal, which in turn changes how it behaves during cutting. So, the recommendation here is, try to get a new steel plate, ideally a larger one, to avoid these kinds of technical treatments. That can come from how the steel was previously handled or cut. We did it. We cut through 30 millimeters. And with that, we've confirmed the theory. The owner of the machine, our friend Edward, got us this plate so we could test it out. He assured us this plate wasn't tempered. And now we can see exactly what I was talking about. Look at that finish. Absolutely spectacular. It came out great. Once again, I'm really happy with the result. Because now we can keep running these kinds of cuts. This is on a whole other level compared to what we had before. Where the finish was rough, full of burrs. Now you can clearly see the difference between cutting tempered steel and steel that hasn't gone through any heat treatment. Let's go ahead and cut our shape. And this is the result at 31 millimeters. Really, a very clean and beautiful finish. Zero burrs. Look closely, the figure is precise, even at the corners. We've got a solid edge right here. Now, yes, there was one small imperfection on one of the faces. That's due to several factors. First, the rust. If there's oxidation on the underside of the plate, it can block the proper flow of molten metal, and that often interrupts the cutting process. So ideally, we should work with the cleanest material possible. For that, we've got a machine called the Forza Solder. It's made for this exact job. It removes surface rust from plates, so the laser can cut cleanly and without flaws. Another possible cause of this overheating is poor heat dissipation. For example, in this part, this edge right here, and this one, they tend to overheat because they don't have enough surface area to release the heat. Now compare that with this other edge over here it has more surface, so the heat spreads out better, no hot spots, and the cut is much cleaner. So those are a few of the main reasons why we sometimes see these small defects, but overall, the part came out beautifully. With our 6,000 watt laser, we managed to cut through a full inch, 31 millimeters, which is the thickest plate we tried today. We also cut 22 millimeters and 19 millimeters successfully. Now, there was one more plate to 64 millimeters, which we were planning to cut today, but we're going to skip it. Why? Well, the material is tempered. The supplier that provided these test plates cut them using oxyfuel. And based on the discoloration and oxidation, we can tell it was cooled with water. That means it went through a heat treatment, which hardens the steel and makes it harder to cut cleanly. If we tried cutting it now, it would likely turn out worse than our last test. So we're stopping at 31 millimeters, but don't worry, we're planning to revisit this with a much more powerful machine at 12,000, 20,000, or even 30,000 watt laser. So stay tuned. Let us know in the comments what video you want us to make next, or if you have any questions about laser cutting technology. And of course, if you want to keep learning about this world, make sure to follow the laser specialists here at Forza. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.